Mind you, keep in mind, y'all, my mic is on right now, okay? My mic is on, so my, my students are hearing me. And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. But this is, you know, like I'm, I'm a little frantic. So she's like, eh, stop, stop, breathe. I said, okay, breathe, okay, breathe, okay. No, no, breathe. And then I was like, okay. Don't let your head get in the way. Can't be defined by your mistakes. You know you try and you try really hard. But sometimes you fall. You sometimes you fall. Y'all. I don't even have no earrings on. <laughs> Listen. Your girl is struggling. I am so tired, y'all. I'm so tired. So, y'all, I have two kids whose birthday is in October. And, baby, it has wore me out. It has worn me out. So, if you're new to my channel, oh, welcome. If you are returning, oh, welcome back. Then you already know that your girl has been... training to be a yoga teacher let's just say that training to be a yoga teacher y'all because it's a process so yesterday was my first paid substitute class and personally it didn't go well for me it didn't go well right i'm, I'm saying it like that for a reason the reason is i got compliments right i got compliments and i got a lot of support from one of the yoga teachers and here's the funny part y'all when i saw this yoga teacher was signed up for my class i was like girl why like why i do not want her in my class because she's one of those women she gives the vibe of one of those women who's like very nitpicky right so like oh you didn't do this right you didn't do this right you know oh you're supposed to go this way oh you're supposed to do like that type of thing like the person in class like oh wait 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 okay i'm a prime example because i did train with her she gives me the vibe like the person in class who out the corner of their eye sees you doing something wrong and wants to ask the teacher about it because you're doing it wrong, right? And so when the teacher answers, you're like, oh, I saw some people doing such and such, so I just wanted to know for sure. That type of person, right? And so I was just like, dang, I don't want her in my class. <laughs> also, when I checked um, Mind Body Online, y'all, I had like three people showing up. So your girl was like, three people cool i could do this i could do this well about 10 showed up so that kind of threw me for a loop when i was seeing like the bodies come in the room on top of that because of the birthdays and stuff i did not practice i did not prepare i had not been in flex in a month and a half if you've been watching my vlogs and you've heard me complaining about the fact that they've changed the classes and i've been going to hot vinyasa so from a physical standpoint i definitely felt stronger y'all i definitely felt like i got through the flow much easier from a physical standpoint but as far as cueing and knowing the flow perfectly like a few times i messed up a few times I messed up on my right side, like saying left when I was doing the right or vice versa, y'all. Oh my God, I was so irritated. It was just like a domino effect. And it was just a reminder to me on the days that I have to teach to implement a slow morning for myself. I really have to implement a small morning. Also, I mean a slow morning. Also, to practice my flow a lot more so even though i can't go in the studio y'all i really gotta like practice this flow problem b the problem is when i get on the yoga mat at home i do what i want to do i do whatever my body wants to do right then that's what i do i don't force it to do anything particular but i'm going to have to practice this flow because that can never happen again essentially what happened was not only did i not practice and part of me was I was in my ego a little bit, y'all. I was just like, girl, no, you got this. We're not going to practice because what we don't want to do is feel like we got to get ready every single time. But here's the truth of the matter. No, you don't have to get ready every single time. You don't have to make it a whole thing. But if you stay ready, then you ain't got to get ready. And me and my son was talking about the fact that, yeah, LeBron might not warm up now. 
he probably should because his ass is getting old but i don't know he, he might not warm up now but there was a point in time where he had to in order to get to this place of not needing to warm up so i have to put the work in to get this flow down packed you know what i'm saying like effortless for myself to be in a place where i feel like i ain't gotta practice or i ain't gotta warm up or i ain't gotta prepare so yeah y'all i got there 15 minutes past the time that i wanted to go for whatever reason i'm trying to write my notes on this like either in a notebook or on a um a large index card it just wasn't doing it. i don't know like what was going on with me that morning i like i said i think it's because i didn't start it off with a slow morning things were a bit hectic i was doing too much you know what i'm saying beforehand i think that that is what contributed it so got there already with 15 minutes to kind of get myself together i had not been trained on how to check people in i only set up the mic music and headset and all of that one time so it just really wasn't enough time to prepare and not be completely flustered right um the music started messing up it was just like little things like i went to go do the breath work and start the music and i'm talking to the class and i'm playing and it's not doing anything it's not playing right but prior to that, I was playing music on my phone because I noticed they were in there and I didn't have any music playing. So I had pl I had connected it. It was already connected to my phone, but I was also using the studio's phone for my class. So when I was trying to get my mic and stuff set, and I was, <laughs> I was in a hallway a little bit frantic, like, you know, just a little frantic. The um, studio manager, it's what I'm gonna call her. I don't know if it's her assistant, but it's the person I often have, works with me as far as setting up my classes she came and was helping me and and y'all mind you keep in mind y'all my mic is on right now okay my mic is on so my my students are hearing me and i'm like okay 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 but this is you know like i'm i'm a little frantic so she's like up stop stop breathe i said okay breathe okay breathe okay no no breathe and then i was like okay <laughs> y'all it was just anyway i went in that y'all and i taught um and like i said during it i know at one point i messed up on one pose like i told people we were supposed to be on our backs when we was really supposed to be on our stomach i looked over saw the other yoga teacher getting on her stomach and i was like oh and I was like, dang, I should have told her to move closer to me so that she could have kind of, I could have kind of eyed her on the next move um, and not been obsessed about my notes per se. And then my notes just wasn't organized. Like before y'all, I had that paper sitting right there. I just had to look down. This time, for whatever reason, it was like I had to flip it over. Like, it was a time. Um... So, yeah, I had that. And then, like I said a few times, I said writing and then laugh. I noticed time was going past. Like, I was about to go over time. So, I had to, like, start speeding it up. Because, apparently, either I was too slow in the beginning. But, also, remember, I started about two minutes late, y'all. I started about two minutes late. So, that and then, yeah, I, I didn't say clean your mat off. Like, I didn't do the whole exit thing. I did say, my name is Ebony, you know, sincere gratitude for coming to this class. If you have any questions, I'm in front of the um, studio. But I didn't say, if you borrow the studio's mat, please wipe it down. Like, I didn't do all of that because, again, I was just, like, kind of in my head, right? And so my girlfriend came to which was a it was some support and i'm just glad she was able to get a little bit of workout in and start her week off on a positive note so when i went out you guys and i was there um in the front of the studio you know i had one young lady come out and she was like hey sis thank you for the class i was like thank you i was like how did i you know i said this is my second time teaching and she was like really and i was like yeah she was like oh you did so good you know and i had a few other people she was like are you gonna be teaching next week because i'm coming back you know woo woo so it, it was a vibe it was a vibe like i said i got a few the yoga teacher also um was like no you did fine you did fine so i definitely think like some of the errors that i made i only noticed or 
just felt really big because it was just like little ones back to back and they just kept throwing me off i think like every time i made a mistake i just got further in my head about it you know um but yeah i mean the, a guy came out of my yoga class he looked at me said thank you great class you know it, so again the bigger picture and the, the the more important part is that these people were able to come to class they enjoyed it they got their mind body connection flowing for the week you know what i'm saying so a win is a win <laughs> but for me because i have to keep it 100 percent with myself i have to do better like that needs to never happen again like i need to be there 30 minutes I need to practice now so I can prepare. Now that I know they're gonna be rolling out these text messages for substitutes more, and that I can't really get in a room to do um, flex all the time. Not as frequent as I used to, y'all. I had a schedule down pack. I had my, oh, excuse me. I had a schedule down pack. I had my flex on Friday. I had my flex on Saturday. And sometimes I had my flex on Sunday, but that shit they like they literally was like only offering like two spots and it conflicted with you know my daughter's dance or other things and so i just you know now that her dance is an hour and a half i might be able to but that's still pushing it it's really really pushing it y'all because i think the yoga studio is at least 20 minutes from dance and so it would be like minute for minute and i don't like that because i get to talking with the teachers and and all of that like mm -mm. also y'all i was trying to vlog for y'all i was trying to vlog you know a day in a life with a yoga teacher and that wasn't going well so much so to the point she took my phone from me y'all she was like girl okay no take the studio's phone give me that one give me that one i'm gonna put it in <laughs> <laughs> Put it in here, yo. Yo, shout out to Melody for having my back, y'all. Because I was just like, girl, I cannot. I cannot do it. Anyway, um, so I really just wanted to post this. Because one day I'm going to look back on this video and I'm going to be like, you know what? That's where we started. But I'm glad we pushed through. And also, to encourage somebody else who's in the beginning stages of their yoga teaching journey. That baby, it's not easy. And they will tell you. Other teachers will tell you. Make friends. Make sure you make friends with other yoga teachers. Because they will tell you. While the other yoga teacher encouraged me. Because we're not really like friends friends. It it was supportive. But it was. I couldn't take it as an honest opinion per se. Right. I couldn't take it as an honest op opinion. But. Like if my girlfriend girlfriend yoga teacher hits me up. I mean if she was there. I could have took her opinion more honestly because I know that she knows, you know what I'm saying? That she can give me a more, on, that I'm looking for a honest opinion from her. So if I was to tell any new yoga teacher on her journey, any tips, number one, focus on being confident. That's what I did the first time. And I, and I thought I was going to do it this time, but I think I knew that I hadn't prepared. And so it was very hard to fake the funk in that moment, right? But the first time I focused on confidence, focus on confidence. If you sound like you know what you're doing, they don't all, they won't know that you messed up. You know what I'm saying? They won't know. Um, to, oh, also y'all, this is what I forgot to add. At one point I would like look through the mirror and look back at my students and like the bulk of them was doing what they want to do. Now I know that that is the case in some cases you will they can't hang right in some cases they can't hang in some cases i can't hang sometimes i'm in the class and i just go into downward dog and just stay there for a minute it's times people fall asleep in class and just like halfway through the class they're done they're just gonna lay in the heat right um so i knew that that wasn't necessarily a reflection of my teaching but it did catch me off guard a few times i'm like okay wait uh are they not getting what i'm doing or are they wanting to just do their own thing so that was one thing that was tripping me up so anyway back to my little tips so yes be confident be confident be confident focus on confidence focus on the fact that you know how to do this right uh because truth of the matter is 
a yoga practice is something that's kind of very very personal so no matter how you teach this person is going to practice the way that they want to practice number two stay ready so you don't have to get ready because otherwise you can't even fake the funk on being confident right stay ready practice your flow frequently practice your flow with different playlists um practice your flow with friends practice teaching practice practice cueing like my girlfriend's like i need to do this more and i'm like yeah and i need to teach more so i really got to get like some zooms going with me or her so that she is able to physically practice more and i am able to teach more uh last but not least give yourself grace it is a journey yoga practice alone is a journey teaching is a hell of a journey do not expect to be do not compare yourself to a yoga teacher who has five years of experience you cannot do that so give yourself grace give yourself grace so anyway y'all i just really wanted to recap this weekend i wanted to recap that yoga because i wanted to do a day in the life video but y'all not gonna get that on this one so i figured let me just go ahead and come forward and give my most transparent story of this experience because somebody needs it i told y'all we ain't just doing wins over here we giving the highs the lows the wins the losses right and so that being said until next time love yourself and protect your energy and deal with life's bullshit with grace and gratitude